țin să menționez faptul că pe data de 14 octombrie, la postul național din Georgia s-au anunțat nominalizările... The nominations for the now well-known Adami Media Prize were announced on the National Channel of Georgia on the 14th of October. We are delighted that there are representatives of Moldova among the nominees. Let's learn more from Leonid Melnikov, representative of Adami in Moldova. Good evening. Good evening. I hope I didn't spoil the secret by saying that there are representatives of Moldova among the nominees. That's fine, it's already been made public. I'm happy that Moldovans have been nominated. As the representative of the festival in Moldova, this makes me very happy. We have two nominees for the main prizes that we'll see a bit later. The format for presenting nominations is different this year because of the pandemic. In the past it was done as part of official festivities the day before the gala ceremony. The gala will be in December? Yes, in Georgia in December. This summer in the studio we talked about the competition conditions. Were there many applicants from Moldova? Yes, there were many, and I'd like to thank everyone for their involvement. In all, over 300 works were submitted for the competition, and quite a few of them were from Moldova. I'm pleased that there's so much interest in the competition in Moldova. What is the significance of these awards? What opportunities do they present? First and foremost, these awards provide recognition. This is a completely unique festival with a single condition that submissions have to do with cultural diversity. There are six main categories which encompass all types of journalism and also film production. The competition is open for all, private studios, public TV channels, freelancers. In addition to prizes, participants can receive stipends, invitations to workshops, and so on. Adami holds many different activities in addition to these prizes. Adami gives a great deal of attention to current events, and this year, with the pandemic that is happening, a new category was created. Let's learn more about how the pandemic has impacted the competition from Stefan Toltz, director of Adami Prize. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Thank you and hello to Moldova. So my first question is a very uh, general one. Uh, we want to know how is this year's competition, uh, especially in terms of the quality of the products uh, that uh, have been cho chosen uh, um, and ha have been uh, nominated. Yeah, I think I'm, uh, I'm very happy about this year's uh, selection of the nominees. I think we have a very wide uh, spectrum of films which are dealing with uh, conflicts, with, uh, we all know that we have, for example, a conflict between Armenia and Azerbaijan at the moment. Some of the films were really dealing with the friendship of Armenians and Azerbaijani people, for example. Uh, we have other topics dealing uh, with Belarus uh, in Ukraine, and of course the films uh, from Moldova. So we have a very wide spectrum this year, in a very colorful spectrum. So I am very happy this year with the picture. Um, we want to know uh, how did Adami uh, Media Prize uh, adapt to what is happening right now in the world? Yeah, of course, we all had to adapt also to the corona. I mean, the Adami Media Prize has its mission to be a networking organization. So we want to uh, get journalists together, we want to get films together. Uh, and uh, of course, with the, the travel restrictions to the corona crisis, it's often impossible to get it. Together. So we have to adapt to that. So we do 
one format that I focus is which is the online, which worked very well, but also a uh, event put through. But the jury session, because we have 300 entries, you cannot put 300 entries online to It is not possible. So this is why we had two parts of the jury session this year. We had 24 jurors met Ljubljana, the screen and television, and heard this same final round, and we had an online jury session with members of all those countries very, very Mr. Tolls, thank you again for talking with us tonight. Uh, we, we wish you all the best. Thank you, and I look forward now to the nomination. As I was saying, Adami responds to current events, and this year, alongside the main six categories, a new prize was established, or rather a special mention for journalists who report on COVID within the context of cultural diversity. As I said, this year we have two nominations for the main prize, the film Mother and Nikolai Cantabine. We also recorded their reactions upon learning that they had been nominated. The name of the second nominee from Moldova, uh, a film produced by TV8, uh, it is called Nikolai Cantamini. We are delighted to have been nominated for the prize. This puts us in excellent company, because this is a very important prize. This is the story of a man from Transnistria, about the problems he faces, the joys he would like to share with others about a person who longs for peace. It's a personal story. This project is part of a larger project called Beyond the Dniester. Wish us the best. The second category is entertainment. And the first nominee in this category is from Moldova, from the Gagos TV channel. And this is a film called Mother, Mamu. The film was presented at a platform of the European Union and, as you know, judged by a panel of judges that convened in Ljubljana, Slovenia. And when the film is shown in the Gagau's language through a network of European broadcasters, this at the very least brings awareness to the Gagau's culture and is a sign that little Gagausia might be developing its own cinematography. This must be a great joy, since this is a valuable prize. It also entails financial support. But what is most important is the recognition that comes from having your work evaluated by an international panel of judges consisting of journalists from the biggest European TV channels. And so I congratulate all the contest participants. Since you mentioned that the panel of judges includes people from different countries, Moldovans must have also been part of it. I'm curious whether it was hard to judge so many excellent media products. And now we'll talk to a journalist, Evgenia Kretsuk, who is a member of the panel from Moldova. Good evening. Could you tell us about your experience in the panel of judges? De facto, I was a judge in three categories. It was a great honor and a challenge. And it was a very interesting experience. There were nine judges, and we judged online. I did my work from the sofa here. It was a very interesting experience, because the panel of judges included people from different fields, producers, journalists, ambassadors from different countries. They all had their different perspectives, and everyone expressed their viewpoints. There were situations when the, judged, when the judges managed to convince each other to vote differently 
than they had intended to vote at first. And this was really interesting to see, to see these different perspectives and view things through others' eyes. But at the same time, judges voted anonymously. And so I don't know, for example, who Leonid voted for. So everything was objective. Thank you, Evgenia. I also want to find out who received the special mention award. I wish you a pleasant evening. And now there's supposed to be a jingle before I open this envelope. I rarely get the chance to open envelopes like this, and I'm a bit nervous. So the special mention award for online video goes to... Borsh from Ukraine, authored by Natalka Yakimovich. In this video, well-known chef Yevgeny Klopatenko embarks on a journey around Ukraine to find the most interesting borscht recipes and discover the secret ingredients that make the dish so distinctive and unique. During the trip, Yevgeny concludes that the recipe ingredients aren't the main thing. More important are the people and their values. The secret ingredients from different regions and from different people are something even greater than love. In the website category, the special mention award goes to the blog of Natalia Kelly from Moldova. Through her blog, Natalia Kelly promotes the culture of her birth and the Gagao's language. She has over 36,000 subscribers. We're happy that we have a new award. Congratulations, Natalia. And now the special mention for this year's special category, COVID-19, goes to Azeri journalist Kamrana Agebalaeva, who reported on COVID and its impacts, the virus that shook up all of our lives. So what happens next? Next, we will find out all the winners, and that will happen in December. I hope it will take place as usual, as we're used to, with the gala evening with many guests in attendance. But because of the pandemic, the organizers might change the award procedure. We'll see what other surprises COVID brings us.